interwebs, how are you doing? I am doing well. Today I am going to be doing another unbagged boxing thing of Ipsy because I love Ipsy and I love sharing it with you guys because sharing is caring. Anyways, before I get into the video, I want to show you my shirt because my shirt is awesome and if you were on Facebook this morning, you may have helped me choose which shirt to wear because I'm indecisive. Anyways, my shirt is a freaking Starfleet Command shirt. How awesome is that, right? It's super awesome. It's got like the stripes like it's from the original series. I freaking love it. If you want to know where I got it from, it's linked in the info below because I'm super helpful. My eyebrow itches. Anyways, <laughs> back to Ipsy. Bam! We're going to start the unbagged boxing right now. Quick disclaimer, my nails look really bad. So if you happen to catch that in the video, um, I, was, I was playing League of Legends while I was painting my nails. So a few of them are <laughs> really jacked up and I like forgot to fix them before I came up here. So just like, just pretend you don't notice. Pretend they look really, really good, okay? Okay. Anyways, zip. This is like the cutest bag ever, right? Anyways, um, the first thing I'm going to show you was not actually an item in this... I'll pick that up in a minute. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to show you was not actually an item in this month's bag. This was my bonus item. Ooh, reflection. This was my bonus item for getting referrals, which I tend to get every month because I have like referred a lot of people. But it's a cute little bronze smoky eyeshadow palette. And it also has a little drawer that has lip balm in it lip gloss. I guess it's not really lip balm. But I am currently wearing this light color, this really like bronzy color and that charcoal, like charcoal, -y. it's more like chocolate, like this chocolate brown color. Um, and then on my lips I'm using that pink one that's clearly used. <laughs> um, these eyeshadows went on really nice. I put them over my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk as like a base and it's got a little mirror and I don't know, this is really cute and nice and I like it. The thing that I dropped the thing that I dropped was a Starlux eye eyeliner. Oh my god, I'm really good at this today. Starlux eyeliner pencil in obsidian. It's a black pencil liner. I'm wearing it on my waterline right now. It did not irritate my waterline at all, which is crazy because I have really, really sensitive eyes. Like, even MAC bothers my eyes. So, I was impressed. Um, what else we got? This is the tinted lip balm that I'm wearing under that lip gloss. Um, it's red. And it's really red on, that's why I put lip gloss over it. And it's really cool because it's Kaylin brand and all of their things come in these cute little containers that look all like retro-y. And you pull this off, and you flip it around, and you put it on, and then there's a the little brush thing. And then you untwist this doohickey, and bam, then you put it on your lips, bam, and then you're, then you're done. I have an eyeliner from them too, but I don't really care for it, but I think it's my own fault. I'm not really coordinated enough for gel liner. I'm sure some girls are, I am not one of those girls. All right, next thing in my bag is this NYX Single Eyeshadow in charcoal. It is a shimmery charcoal color, and it is the color that I'm wearing in my crease. And it's, it's eyeshadow. It's the same brand as the other eyeshadow. It's NYX. NYX is a good brand. Cheap. I like it. Um, the next thing I got were these three face masks, and I obviously tried one of them out. Now, these are weird, right? Um, let me set a couple of them down. Uh, the one that I used, I got, oh crap, I should have read them. There was one that was Blue Agave, and that was the one I used today, and that was Hydrating. Then this one is Rose, and it's um, Brightening and Toning. And then this one is Purifying, and it's Starfruit, and these are super weird. They're like really thin paper, almost like tissue paper, and you stick them on your face. And I don't think my face is lined up properly because the eye holes were like not... I think I have a weird face. That's what I got out of this. I'm not sure that these are something I would buy ever again. I was, it's like nice to try them, you know, because it's like fun to try new things. But I really like facial masks are hard for me because I wear glasses and I'm blind. And I don't wear contacts very often either. And when I do wear contacts, I always put them in when I'm all done with my makeup because I don't want to risk like getting makeup in my eye with contacts or like in this case, these are supposed to stay on for 10 minutes and you're not supposed to rinse afterwards, so like it would be better to do out of the shower, and I did it like right at the end of my shower, and then like had it on my face, but it was really like weird and inconvenient, I couldn't see anything, I don't know, facial masks are weird for me, but that being said, it did make my skin feel really soft, and my skin looks really even, although you guys know I don't have like the greatest skin in the whole world, which some of you really love to point out, because you're really nice people. Anywho... The last thing in my bag is my favorite thing. I saved the best for last. 
It's all wet because one of the masks, anyways, <laughs> one of the face masks was wet and I put it in here. But this is a sample size, but it's a big sample. And it's made by Elizabeth Mott and it's It's So Big Mascara. This stuff is amazing. And I'm a mascara hater. Like, you know, I got a mascara in another Ipsy bag and I didn't really like it. The brush looks like this bad boy. Focus. Yeah. And you know, it didn't look like it was going to do very well, but like seriously. Hi, weird full icon to get tap. English is a hard language. Um, it actually looks really, really good on. I like can't see anything because I'm so blind, but it looks really good on. I normally use the Falsies mascara, which comes in a purple tube. And while it looks really good on, it's actually kind of hard to apply. It's like really clumpy and stuff. And this was like no clumps. I didn't stab myself in the eye. I didn't get it all over my face. I didn't ruin my eyeshadow with mascara. I don't know if any of you guys do that, but I do that all the time. Um, it was, and it looked really nice. It made my lashes like four times the size they were, like if you saw the before and after, which I should have taken a picture of. A more resourceful person would have done that, but I didn't. That was my Ipsy this month. This wasn't a very good video. I apologize. I tried. A for effort. <laughs> If you guys get an Ipsy, you are welcome to send me Twitter pictures or it's hard. I like want to say video responses, but YouTube canceled that because hmm, reasons. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my tummy. Oh, my cat. Meow. Karen. I love my cats. I want to be a crazy cat lady when I grow up. I really do. Like cats are amazing. And like the more you get, I swear the better they are. <laughs> Like, I have three cats right now. I really want a fourth, though, because I want to, like, balance it out. I feel like a cat always gets left out of the mix. Like, I have three cats, and, like, one of them's really old. And it's funny, because we didn't know he was old. We're going on, like, random story time right now. But we didn't know that Ninja was very old, because he was a stray that we, like, took in. I just dropped that. He was a stray that we took in, and, you know, the first time we took him to the vet, we were, like, shocked, because we thought he was, like, three or four. And the vet was like, oh, yeah, he's, like, 15. And we were like... My cat's 15, you know, because like even indoor cats live to be like 18 or 19, 20. I mean, they can live older than that, but that 15 is old. Like 15 is up there for a cat, and that's like how old Ninja is. And Ninja's not like in the best of health for being 15. Like I'm sure I've graped about this in the past, but I've spent a pretty penny on Ninja at the vet because he has chronic upper respiratory disease and allergies, which are incurable. Like I'm not kidding. We've tried everything and the only thing that like relieves his symptoms are steroids but there's a lot of effects that the steroids have that I'd rather him sneeze than him like be obese and aggressive <laughs> like, so I don't know it's it's like a it's like a frustrating thing so like I don't think he would be one of those cats that live to be like 23 24 you know and he's 15 and uh we've, we've had Leroy since he was a kitten and he's like four and then Kieran is like two but it's weird because Kieran and Leroy don't really get along very well. Like, and then Ninja and Kieran don't get along very well. It's, and it's not Kieran. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they don't like Kieran. Like, I think she's kind of a jerk. I think she's really dominant. I don't. I don't know what it is. But like, Leroy is like obsessed with Ninja. Like, Le Leroy likes other cats. He just doesn't really like Kieran. And like. Kieran likes the dogs. I don't know. It's like a weird social structure dynamic, and I feel like if we had another cat, it would balance it out. I just want to be the crazy cat lady. Is there anything wrong with that? What if all of them are well taken care of? Like, I don't want, like, 20 cats. I just want, like, seven. <laughs> Nick said that when we grow up, if we only have cats, we can be crazy cat people. This is why I'm hubbing him up. Anyways, I gotta go. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Bye!